Tuesday. Today I want to share with you the magic of education, meaning I want to continue down the path that we started yesterday in the three-part framework, mindset, education, and collaboration. What is it that we need to learn inside of the space of the future of work and why is it important to us? And there are lots of ways that I could answer that question, but today what I really want to dive into is the importance of understanding the basic tenets of entrepreneurship. And why is that important? First, because the path of work was salary for just about everybody, the large, 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 large majority of us. We got two paychecks a, a month or one paycheck a month or one, you know, one every week, whatever that looked like, but we received a salary from a place. The future of work is threefold and all three parts are in some way entrepreneurial. The first one is, okay, I have a job at a traditional organization that now demands of me that I have entrepreneurial skills, that I understand cash flow, that, uh, that I can be creative when my resources are constrained, that, um, that I know how to create effective and powerful partnerships in the marketplace. That's going to be more and more and more in demand. The fact that you can pivot quickly on ideas and create value in the market also critically important. Then let's look at entrepreneurs in a more traditional sense. I'm creating a scalable business. Yes, you need to understand the tens of entrepreneurship, tax law, um, cash flow. And these are the kind of not as sexy things as, um, as you know, hockey stick growth and, and everything else. But here's a scoop. If you don't have your financials in order, first of all, you might quickly and unknowingly and literally put yourself out of business because one of the biggest challenges for early stage companies is cash flow. So get yourself hip to that. And then third, for those of us who are in some way, shape or form doing some kind of freelance work and whether that's on one of the platforms, whether uh, like TaskRabbit, whether it's Uber or Lyft, whatever mode of freelance kind of work you're doing and you're negotiating uh, one-off contracts with companies, you got to understand those same things. What's your cash flow? When is the money coming in? What is accounts payable? What is accounts receivable? And again, those are the things that don't feel as sexy as the entrepreneurship stuff of the innovation and brand new products and all this. But here's the scoop. If you don't have your best ideas and your creativity and your craft balanced with the way to execute it on it in the world, which is cash, 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 then you're going to be toast. So what can you do about it? Well, hello, we live in the age of internet. So all you need to do is start Googling entrepreneurship, how to start a small business. And there are bajillions of free resources. If I could recommend one book that I think is so cool, it's to start your own business. That's I think now in its fifth edition. Um, I could be wrong on that, but it's in a subsequent edition from the editors at Entrepreneur Magazine. This book is so rich in resources and help you think about the questions that you didn't even know that you had to ask yourself. So get yourself hip to entrepreneurship. If you're wondering what to learn, that's the magic. I want to know what you think about entrepreneurship. What have your experiences been? And how's your business doing? Type some comments here in the bar below and here's to the freedom to create the lives that you want.